very likely, you are familiar with the ketogenic diet. There is bound to be someone you know, or perhaps yourself, who has jumped on this fad diet to slim down while subsisting on butter and bacon. Likewise, some advocates swear this method of eating, for weight loss, help them lose weight while giving them loads of energy all day long. But is it a good way to lose some pounds? How restrictive is it, and long term, how safe is it to follow? What is the ketogenic diet? Originally, the ketogenic diet was developed and fine-tuned in the 1920s to be used to treat children with epilepsy and controlling seizures. In more recent years, the ketogenic diet has morphed into a genuine weight loss plan paralleling the Atkins diet popularity in the 1990s. However, this diet is an extremely low-carbohydrate, very high-fat diet that is even stricter than the Atkins diet. The premise of the diet is to put the body into a state of what is called ketosis. Ketosis is a metabolic adaption that has allowed humans to survive during periods of famine. When carbohydrate intake is severely reduced, the body turns to fat to break down for an energy source. Because there are insufficient carbohydrates available for the body to use for energy, the body is forced into ketosis. During ketosis, a byproduct of the breakdown of fat called ketones is produced, providing energy for the brain when carbohydrates are scarce. Normally, the body's preferred energy source is carbohydrates, glucose. But when carbohydrates are restricted, this forces the body to burn stored body fat as energy which is an inefficient process called ketosis. So it would seem that eating lots of fat would cause weight gain, which would make sense. However, ketosis trains the body to burn more fat more efficiently. It may sound like a good weight loss method, but following it long term is another story. To achieve ketosis, one must strictly limit carbohydrate intake to less than 20 to 30 grams daily. The human body normally requires at least 130 grams of carbohydrates each day. Strictly prohibited are any bread or grain products, starchy vegetables such as potatoes, peas, corn, beans, and all other fruits besides berries. Is it a realistic way to lose weight? Because the diet is so restrictive on the number of carbs allowed, many dieters are not truly reaching ketosis. In addition, it is very tough to reduce carbohydrate intake to that low of a daily amount, making it hard to follow long term. Some people may develop the keto flu when transitioning to following the ketogenic diet. To know for sure if one is in ketosis, they can use test strips to measure for ketones in their urine. Will you lose weight? Yes, weight loss can be achieved. But because of how restrictive it is, once a person goes back to eating normally, weight regain is common. Is the ketogenic diet safe for everyone? Therefore, taking a multivitamin to compensate for the nutritional difference is recommended. In addition, since this diet barely provides any fiber, constipation and other digestive issues will likely become a problem. Other situations in which the ketogenic diet is not recommended include the following. People with gallbladder disease or without a gallbladder, pancreatic insufficiency, or anyone who's had bariatric surgery as fat is more difficult to digest. Anyone with a rare metabolic disorder that interferes with normal fat metabolism. People prone to kidney stones which can result in changes in their salt and fluid balance. People with heart disease, this diet is extremely high in unhealthy saturated fat. In conclusion, due to the very restrictive diet plan, most people cannot follow a ketogenic diet long term. There are also insufficient long term studies on the effect of following this diet making long term usage questionable.